Today's gonna be a good day. A really good day. For some reason, I can just feel it. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful day, don't you know? It's a beautiful day. This is The Thread. Yep, today is gonna rock. You ever have one of those days when your outfit just matches the day perfectly? Well, this is one of those days. <laughs> I know, you're probably wondering, how did you land on that outfit, Tim? You know what? I'm glad you asked. It is Valentine's Day. It's the time of love. So, I mean, chocolate-covered strawberries has always, always been our thing. And so, I mean, that is what, it's the crowd pleaser. But we're so excited to add a couple new things this year. You know, namely, we came out with a whole new line of our bite-sized artisan truffles. So it's just really cool looking, really good tasting, and then, you know, other flavors that you just don't see anywhere else. So it's one of our busiest times of the year. We need all of the help that we can get. Almost all of the help we can get. Hey, Dan. Oh, hey, Tim. Yeah, I'm here for your temporary help for the Valentine's rush. Oh, brother, not again. Yeah. Don't yeah. you remember what happened at Easter? Just pick a bunny and go. Just pick a bunny and go. No awesome. hard feelings, OK, guys? Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Oh, that's, uh, that's awesome. That's a 40-pound bunny there. Yes, it is. You took the biggest Easter bunny we had out the door. Right. I was a big help when, when Virginia and I were. Virginia was a big help. I remember that. Yeah, remember I was helping on the line? I remember that you were on the line. Oh, hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. Oh, hey, Dan. Sorry, man. All right, no problem. Thanks. He took the whole tray of truffles and the tray, too. I'm going to find a way to get in that factory. Candy Graham, special delivery for the line. Nice try, Tim. It's the Candy King reporting for duty. Oh, come on, Tim. Share with me your candy secrets, and I share with you me frosted Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. It's not going to work, man. Got to go. Hey, Dan, it's me, Virginia. You know, the good one. Thank God, Virginia, you're here. Thread up, y'all. Wait a second. Tim. Roll, tide, roll. It's not going to happen, man. Who loves chocolate? <laughs> Tim? Yeah? Let's do it. How do you say no to Cupid? Exactly, right? Yes. Let's do this. All right, let's go. Come yep. on. <laughs> I'm in. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to pack up these truffles. Chocolate covered strawberry. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, Dan. I, I'm sure they're still good. They're, they're just flat. Ah. What we'll do is take our number one selling product, our chocolate covered strawberries, and smash that down into a chocolate bar. The proceeds are going to Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital. So when you buy one of these chocolate bars, you know, you're part of the giving that goes to the hospital as well. Tim, you might have just proved yourself worthy of working in the chocolate factory. You want me to break something else? I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, yeah, this outfit's working so well, I can't possibly keep it all to myself. I need to share it with others. Hey, Joe. <laughs> all right, Tim. We're going to go out and start ourselves a parade, a love parade. <laughs> Can you feel it? You don't know me and I don't know you. The time is now for us both to choose and do Hey, something. man, what are you doing? Hey, man, what are you doing? Oh, well, I'm just trying to spread some love in St. Louis by starting my own love parade. Well, dude, that's cool. I'm all about a love parade. Yeah, man. Well, what's the Love Your Neighbor project? I'm glad you asked. You don't know me and I don't know you. This thing uh, it's really started sports, happening back in 2016. We had Ver Ferguson, and we have all this racial tension, and we have the election, and the election has just brought a lot of divisiveness. And everything just led me to think, gosh, we really need to do something here as a country. We need something to unite us, and the thing that's going to unite us is love. And so that's where the Love Your Neighbor song came. And be kind to our brothers. I randomly reach out to Scotty Wilbanks from the band Third Day. And he's just excited about some of the tunes and about kind of this, uh, this big dream that's been placed on my heart. It's like, I really think we need to do something with these. We're getting ready to release, finally release the music and have our opening show. And just a lot of doors are starting to open for us to 
uh, share this dream of reaching millions of people and changing their lives forever. I don't know where it's going to lead to this year, but I believe in love. And I believe that uh, these tunes and, um, will reach people's hearts and hopefully they're going to inspire people to do great things. Change our communities, our country, and our world. You may look different, but so do I. Through this whole experience, what have you learned about you? I'll catch myself and I'm like, love your neighbor. Oh, dude, you were terrible at that. So, but definitely more self-awareness of um, really needing to live out what God called us to do. This is not about the Love Your Neighbor Project. It's not about Mike Sonderaker. It's a, it's about God. It's about loving people. Love one another. Man, that is awesome. I can't wait to get that album. Thank you, yeah, man. man. Hey, you want to join my love parade? I'd love to, but Sweet. I, I have a question. Yeah. Do I have to skip? No, no. But it'd be great if you did. Love is gonna find a way. Cause I know. There's something you don't see every day. Do, 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 do. Ah, hey, what's going on? Hey, how are you? Well, I'm great. This is my friend Mike. Hi, hey. Mike. Yeah, and we're just trying to spread some love in the city by starting our own love parade. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. You down with the love? Totally down with the love. How so? I'm glad you asked. Ooh. St. Louis has been my home since I was in fourth grade. I love everyone here. I love this city. Whenever I see the arch, I get goosebumps still to this day. Back in September, I work in downtown St. Louis, and I was feeling a lot of anger and hatred and just a lot of animosity, and it was really bothering me. It was really weighing on my heart. I wanted to do something about it, so the only thing that occurred to me was to draw a picture. I literally found a royalty-free picture of the arch pulled it onto my phone, found a drawing app, and wrote, I heart everyone, because that's how I felt. That's the first and only. Wow. That's... I just decided I did it, and I was like, I am not touching that. I'm just going to leave it. And I posted it on Facebook, and a few friends of mine told me, if you make that into a t-shirt, we'll buy it. And I went, oh, wow, that's a really cool idea. And so I researched how much it would be to make t-shirts, and. I don't, I don't have a lot of money, so the t-shirts didn't get made. On a total, I really feel like God told me to do this. Um, I pulled up the Threads website and sent the idea into your show. What does it mean to love everyone? Smile. Um, genuinely care and show concern for others. Somebody could have be having a really bad day, and if you just go up to them and say, hey, your earrings are really cool. Or your hair looks fantastic today. Or, you know, that's a really sharp suit. You never know, that might just put a bounce in their step and a smile on their face that lasts them all day, all week maybe. There's a, a lady at the library, at the Central Library. Every time she sees me, she smiles at me, she gives me a hug, she asks me how I'm doing. She does that with everyone. As much as you see negative out there, there's still positive out there. That is what God wants us to do, is to care about one another and to be there for one another and try to lift each other up. Whoa, what a great idea. That's awesome. Hey, Candace, would you like to join our love parade? I would love to join your love parade. Oh, come on, I think you're suited up for it. Whoa, how'd that happen? <laughs> Little love magic. Come on. That's awesome. The Thread, brought to you by Bomberito Automotive Group. This is Frank Bomberito for the Bomberito Automotive Group. If you're considering using any internet-based car buying service, consider Bomberito.com first. With 12,000 new and pre-owned vehicles from multiple franchises, the Bomberito Automotive Group will have your car at your price. And we'll show you a better deal. Dealer direct at Bomberito. Don't pay extra for a middleman. Let the Bomberito Automotive Group earn your business today. Bomberito.com. 
What's up, Threadheads? Thanks for checking out the show. I hope you enjoy watching it as much as we enjoy bringing it to you each and every week. You know, as we step into season two, we're starting our new status as a nonprofit, and we really want to expand the scope and ministry of the Thread. We want to come to your community and connect you with those folks who are moving to the needs right in your own backyard. You know, we are so thankful for the platform we've been given by Fox 2 to bring this show into your home each and every week. They've been an amazing partner. But we're not owned or operated by Fox 2. This is an independent show, and we need your support to keep the mission going. A couple of ways you can help us do that. You can go to our webpage, thethreadstl.com. Click on Donate, and you can make a donation of any amount to support the cause. Next, you can go to the Shop page. That's our store where you can buy all kinds of cool thread gear. We've got t-shirts, we've got hats, so you can suit up with us. So make sure you get your gear, join the team, and help us thread up, y'all. Hold on, hey, hey, am I? Hey, are my tennis shoes deductible? Tim, what are you doing? I, I, I gotta get my taxes done, my investments, and I gotta make a will. Come on, I know just the place. Uh, Come on. You are going to love Securus and Circle of Advisors. They can help you with your tax advice, your legal needs, your investments, and your insurance. Awesome. Tim, meet your Circle of Advisors. Oh, thanks, guys. Well, we did tell you to bring everything. Securus Circle of Advisors, helping people build and secure their vision of retirement. This week's Thread Up story is brought to you by Securus Circle of Advisors. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. Stop. Uh, sorry, ladies. We got a little carried away. This is my friend Mike and my other friend Candace. Hey. Hey. We're just trying to spread some love in our city with a love parade. We're all, all about, about the love. love. Really? How so? Glad, Glad you asked. Good morning, Peekaboo. I am directing traffic. Keep moving. Keep moving. I'm here to make sure everyone is uh, safe on the sidewalk. I love it because I am a people person, and I love people. What's going on, Rasta man? You have the light. Yeah, good timing. Yeah, keep jamming, man. It's a lot going on here, so if I could put a smile on their face, just a simple smile with a smile. This is great. I'm helping them across, making them safe, doing my job, and they turn and say thank you. That means a lot. And we balance each other, because I'm like, ah, you know, the wild, funny one. Look at you, Miss Chantel. Oh, my goodness. Come on, I need you to walk the runway, girl. You look like a model. And she is like the mom. Like, come on, let's get it together. Let's go, you know, do the right thing. Hey! That's Marjorie in her action. Come on back, boo-boo. When we first started out here, I told Marjorie, I said, Marjorie, these are our lights. This is our stage. And we're here for the people. We're going to make it happen. I have a loving heart, and I don't mind sharing my love with someone else. It was a guy coming down the street who was wrapped up in a sheet. I took my coat off my back and gave it to him. It was like single digits. Why is it so important for you to love on other people? My purpose is to love and make people happy. And that's what the world needs. God placed me on this earth to love people and to make them smile and to make them happy. I think that the Lord placed me here at this time on this sidewalk to do just that. It makes my day to love on someone else and then let somebody ride down the street loving back on me. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> you ladies are awesome. Would y'all like to be a part of our love parade? Sure. All right, lead the way. Hit it, Mike. We've got to love. We've got to love our neighbor. Speaking of love, it's time to show some for a special friend, Virginia. It's her birthday. And now I know it's not normally polite to talk about a woman's age, but this is worthy of celebration. She's 103. <laughs> oh, you thought I meant that Virginia. No, I meant the other Virginia in my life. Hello. These are for Thank you. Thank you. You came. Yes, of course. Yeah. I wouldn't miss it. We had to come and celebrate your birthday, right? 
It's what we do. It's what we do. I feel wonderful, especially since you came. My Timmy. Play uh, something I can dance to. And thank you for my flower. Of course. How's it feel? Still don't know to go on that balloon ride. We gotta, we gotta work that out. Okay. We gotta right. get up, up and away, don't we? Okay, you can do it for my birthday. <laughs> This birthday, <laughs> I gotta get busy. Yeah, you better. Yeah. For amber waves of rain. You know, it's 103. I'm still kicking. Not as high as I used to, but I still like to dance and have fun. Mmm, good day. Hey. We sang happy birthday. We've had cake. You know what it's time for now. It's time for the hot seat. Brought to you by Hard Man Furniture. All right, we've got Miss Virginia Leitner in the hot seat, and she's got her pageant friends to help her out. Y'all ready to go? All right, Virginia, here's how this works. I'll ask the questions. You give the answers. You have 30 seconds on the clock. Clock will start after I read the first question, and our subject is love. All right, we ready? All right, here we go. This word begins with L, ends with E, and means that adores something or someone. Come on, forget Love. Love, that's right. Yeah, that's, you do Valentine's that. Day is a celebration of what? My birthday. Well, that's it. Oh. And love, absolutely, no doubt. No. OK, okay. While, it, while this word means everything in the world, this four-letter word means absolutely nothing, zero zilch in tennis. None. Oh, oh love. love, love, yes. Woo. Okay. Can we play tennis? If you add a G to love, it gives you something that keeps your hands warm. What is it? Glove. Glove, oh. yes. Woo. And finally, we all love this woman who is a beautiful 103 I'm years a young. I'm not a, a baby. No, you're not. Even though no, I'm three, I'm going on three. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, no, sir. Okay. okay. Last question. question. You ready? Yeah. We all love this woman who is 103 years young. Oh, that's me. Yes! yes. Guess what, birthday girl? You just conquered the hot seat brought to you by Art Man Furniture. More style, more selection, and more savings. It's everything Art Van Furniture is famous for. For more than 55 years, Art Van Furniture has been the leader in classic, urban, and modern styles, all at the lowest prices in America on furniture and top name brand mattresses. This is why we are the Midwest number one furniture and mattress store, Art Van Furniture, now in your neighborhood. Coming to St. Louis February 1st, four new Art Van Furniture stores. We went to two other places beforehand, and I really want to go to Newsteaders. I've always heard great things about them. When they first came in, they were just kind of looking, of course. You always have to make two or three looks. It's almost like in the back of their head, they know. They're like, you're going to come back, and you do. And he chose a lab-grown diamond, a pure-grown diamond. When we put them side by side, the pure-grown diamond just spoke to him. And so we get our photo, we smile, and I like get ready to walk away, and he just goes, Hey, hon, I blacked out, and so... <laughs> you don't even know if you... I don't, but... She don't even know if she's been asked to get I, No, no, I do, because okay. I, I made video. him do it again. Okay. <laughs> he put it on my finger, uh, for sure the second time. I'm sure he did it the first time, too. We're just blessed to be a part of that. It's one of those things where when you get a great diamond, you can tell, and I... I know that I have one. If you're in the market for jewelry, make your way to Newsteaders, where honesty and integrity meet. What? Our time's almost up together already? Oh, you mean I gotta wait till next Saturday? That's way too long. We gotta catch up during the week. I got a great idea. Hey, why don't you follow us on social media? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You know, we've got content that doesn't actually fit on our 30 minute show, right? And we're adding new messages all the time. So follow us, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It's our way to keep up with you throughout the week. And we can thread up all week long. Follow us, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. See you soon. We're gonna go out and start ourselves a parade, a love parade.
That's what it's all about. Just loving the next person who crosses your path, even when you don't choose your path. Matt and Leslie Holiday know a little something about that. We're talking faith this week while we're hanging with the holidays. I was raised in the United Methodist Church in Oklahoma in West Texas where I grew up. And I was just saturated with, with that community as a young girl. They didn't really become my own until I was in college. Gave my life to the Lord for real and got real serious about my relationship with Jesus or growing in my relationship with Jesus. I always felt the sense and presence of, of God but didn't know much about Jesus and didn't wasn't really raised in, in church. Was always a little intimidated to go in environments because I didn't know much about Jesus and didn't want to be called upon. Going into the minor leagues, I was always one of the younger players in the first few years and had some older guys that had played a while and, and uh, a lot of them were college players and, and had, were, were, were Christians and, and shared the gospel with me and, and I got a chance to watch them. Just felt like the Lord was, was calling me and, and um, started to understand who Jesus was and it wasn't any kind of one incident or one thing that happened. I just felt like, you know, this is the God that I trust and, and want to follow. There was a lot of growth that went on when I was with Adam and Mike and Matheny and, and uh, a lot of the guys, Jake West, we had, a, we had a really good group of guys. It's weird, baseball's weird. It's like you want to be in the family, but they're like, oh, sorry, you're out of the family. Like, that's kind of how, that's kind of how it works. And you're like, no way, I'll play for $5. Nope, nope, you're still just not in the family. And so you have to go find a new one. You go from having your comfort zone, you know, from a spiritual uh, standpoint, you know your role on the team. You have your guys, you know, with Adam and Carp and, um, you know, Mike and just, you know, people that you know intimately. Our faith is obviously very important because it keeps you grounded and you know the Lord's going with us. There was some hard times, but there were some really cool times and getting a chance to meet some of the young players that they have and building relationships with them and uh, hopefully having a bit of an impact from a spiritual you know, standpoint on maybe a guy, just one guy or maybe more. We go where we're supposed to go and, and you just, we talked about Jesus in New York, and it was good. You try to really live Romans 8, 28, like, okay, here's the deal. Like, God said, you said, Lord, that you're going to work all things out for my good because I love you like crazy. That's the deal. None of us knows what lies ahead. We don't have a crystal ball, but we're just called to love people as we go. God led Matt and Leslie to New York. They're just going to love on people in New York. Why? Because that's what they're called to do. And we don't need a big platform to do it. Look at Mike Sonderegger. He's a worship leader, a musician. He decided, I'm going to love on people through my music. Candace didn't have a big agenda. She had no agenda to, at all. She just wanted the people in St. Louis to know that she loved her city and everyone in it. And how about Marjorie and Danielle? They direct traffic at a, a construction site, but they do so by loving everyone that encounters them, everyone who crosses their path on a daily basis. It's what we're called to do. In John chapter 13, verse 34, Jesus says, a new commandment I give to you, love one another. And how are we to do that? The second part of that, that verse, as I have loved you, love one another. See, he loved us first and he showed us how to do it. How did Jesus do it? He loved the next person he encountered. As he went, as he journeyed, he just loved on the next person who crossed his path. And then he showed us ultimate love by laying down his life so that we could live eternally with him. It's what we're called to do. Just love the next person who crosses your path. In Christmas 2004, I, well, back up a bit. My dad and his beautiful bride, Patty, host my family and my sister's family every year between Christmas and New Year's. And 2004 was no different. And except for the fact that that was right at the time when Patty had lost her mother. But yet she still hosted us. She brought us in and here we came in with our small kids and she put on a, a great face and, and she enjoyed our company and, and hosted us for that entire week. And then we left and the holidays were over and she was sitting on her bed and she just, it hit her, the loss of her mother and she began to cry. And there was a knock at the door and my father was in the bathroom shaving. He's like, you gotta go get it. And she goes to the door and it's Eva Kirby, her neighbor. And Eva says, I know what it's like to lose a mother. I know what it's like when the holidays are over and everyone's gone. I'm here to help you get your house back in order. And Patty says, I, I, I can't deal with that right now. Let me just get, uh, get Doug out the door. And she says, I'm not leaving without the sheets to the beds. I can get those started in my own washing machine. So she took those, 
went to her house and washed those. And then she came back after my father left. And in an hour, they had the decorations put away and the house put back in order. And she went back to her house. And Patty, as she walked away, said, I can't tell you how you blessed me. And she's like, God laid it on my heart to come to you. And she goes, but you, you just don't know what that's meant to me. And she said, it's what we're called to do, right? It's all he asks us to do. And Kirk, Eva Kirby went on back to her house. You see, that's it. It's the little things. It's loving the next person who crosses your path. And look, you don't have to organize a parade to do it. Your life is your parade. Just love on people along the route. That's the end, but not the end. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, St. Louis, this is just the beginning of the love parade. We all can just do our part by loving people right where we are. We love you, St. Louis. Because love is the answer. Yes, it is. Spot Media Production Group.